Hang on tight. So we'll tell you the real story about what happened this morning. <laughs> Weird if I film your process. <laughs> Is that top secret stuff? So, what's up, fellow journeyers? Florida, specifically the Florida Keys. Is it worth the hype? Is it worth the drive? Is it worth the money? <laughs> and whose truck is that behind me? Yeah, actually, that's a, it's finding our Sunday's truck. They're hanging out with this. Because if you want to check out the Florida Keys, it's on the way to, um, it's not really on the way to anything. But we've seen that a lot of those places that aren't on the way to anything, around the edges of the US, Alaska, the Florida Keys, man, they're definitely worth it. Specifically Key West, which is like on the tip of the Florida Keys. So man, I don't know if like you're in Miami or something like that, wanna to go to Key West or Miami, you're talking like, I don't know, two, three, possibly four hours if the traffic's bad. I mean, it's tough to do a day trip. So it's almost like you have to get into the Keys to be able to get to Key West to even check it out. <laughs> I love their Roman chickens and roosters. You can't beat it. <laughs> so the parking situation definitely is tight in here, but we parked directly at Mallory Square, which is where everything's happening. Um, and we got, oh, came out pretty good, I think. So I think if we wait another 30 minutes, we got here like an hour, hour and a half before sunset, we were okay. But if we waited too much longer, this is like one of two spots that was left. Finding our someday, got the other spot somewhere over here. But definitely doable. Just gotta watch out for the chickens. All right, guys. Acrobatics! Juggling! And a strip team! Hey, buddy. How are you? Are you excited? This is happening. I'm on like sensory overload. <laughs> My goodness. It's just like every time I turn around, I just want to start filming something else. You know, this place is incredible when every night at sunset they have a celebration and everybody just comes out and celebrates the beautiful sunsets. And I think what's super crazy is I remember doing this, what, four years ago? Yeah, yeah. And just seeing how life is so different than. Mm -hmm than it was last time we were here. Right, bud? A little different? Yeah. <laughs> Cause now we got this dude. Yeah. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's some water action. Oh. Everybody, come watch. This guy's working this crowd, man.
You guys ready? So ready. Are you ready, Hensley? <laughs> the lowest point to come this the year, we are not going to miss sunset due to us getting food. It was probably tacos. Was it, tacos? it was tacos. Yeah. So, so was last tacos. time we were in the taco line and the sunset's going down. So this year, I would really like to be over there getting tacos, but I'm going to watch the sunset this time. <laughs> Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Four is ready to roll. I forgot the this artistic flair I've got going on. Oh, I'm going to yeah. get this camera. <laughs> this camera's going to be in my time lapse. Hi, JJ. Are you excited for the sunset? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's packing in. Do your thing, babe. See it about to go? Are you excited? It's going to be so pretty here. One of the prettiest sunsets you'll see. Is it filming? It's filming. Is, it, is there a red dot going? Yeah, see that red dot going? That means it's filming. Hello, the sunset. We're at the sun. Over there is where we live. And a wall, a pelican. And this pelican here is Donnie, the pelican. Oh, there it goes. Wow. So gorgeous. There it goes, JJ. There it goes. Folding job. Right, go ahead. She's going to circle. She is ready to roll here. So in the keys you've got some beautiful campgrounds and it's it's gonna be beautiful almost no matter what because of the water, because of the views, because of the sunset, the sunrise, the whole deal. But this campground especially has some really awesome stuff to check out. Now I'm not gonna explain why I'm not walking with the crew to go check things in. Marissa's not gonna share. I'll tell you later. <laughs> Uh, let me, I'm going to share no. what really happened. No. We were on, at the beach this morning and a little puppy dog was walking toward the water and I saw this giant fin swimming up toward it. I ran toward this puppy dog, scooped it up just in time, ran it back to the owner and somewhere along the way I tweaked my knee and that's what happened. So that's what we're going to stick with, right? <laughs> that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Take the camera, go. Like or Paul Harvey, I'm gonna tell them. What does he, what he always say? It doesn't, the other side of the story. Do you no, remember Paul Harvey? That's the rest of the story there. There's the no. rest of the story, yeah. <laughs> Hensley still got her helmet on. <laughs> this beach area is so cool out here. It's pretty small, but it's so accessible from the RV. We can be at the pool or the beach because we're right in the middle of the campground, so. It's just such an awesome spot right here by the bridge to go snorkeling. We got our paddleboard out. So we'll tell you the real story about what happened this morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, we went on a run, Nathan and Jesse and me, we all went on a run this morning and at the very end, we decided to, we thought it was a good idea to have a race at the mm -hmm. end. You gotta sprint to finish. I know. A strong finish. Yeah, so we're like, let's let's sprint it out and let's run. Well, uh, Nathan was getting beat by Jessie the gazelle over here. <laughs> Her stride is insane. And I got about five strides <laughs> into that like long gazelle stride and I was done. <laughs> yeah, and so Nathan like blew by, you know, acting all cool and then kept running and showing off and he ran. Well, he was going to do more. Yeah, he just kept going and he so he ran in front, beat us both and then start kept running like he had all this energy left and we we're like, "Oh, man." And then come to find out he had hurt himself <laughs> racing Jesse. 
and he wanted to play it off so he just like kept running and pretended like he had more hurting his knee even worse i'm the puppy yeah <laughs> jesse's the puppy it's so moral of the story don't don't so race bad. jesse no you'll get hurt so this is where the incident took place we were racing around here to get to the beach and nathan took off kept running around this corner and we thought he just had tons of energy but uh Oh, that was so not the sorry, case. <laughs> All right, Lily and Layla, let's go. Woo! <laughs> we need to go back. Yeah, come on, let's go. Hensley, you hear those birds in there? Yeah, they sound fake. They do sound fake. Huh. If you want to check an awesome sunset out, we've got a pier where you can come see the sun go down. It's really awesome. I got this, head. <laughs> 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 this is incredible. It's a saltwater pool. And that's why we haven't really left this resort very much is because we have a pool and a beach and they have tennis courts and a playground and volleyball and there's just so much to do here. I had time on this trip for you to kick my butt at basketball. I totally wanted to come play some basketball. I Nathan and I we kept talking. We need to a ball. We need to like get a basketball. We carried a basketball with us for about our first probably three years of RVing and we found a court one time so of course minimalist nathan's like we're not using it but right now would be the time this court's awesome i'm sure that we can go around one though like everybody has yeah they have one i'm sure so we just were too lazy to this is a nice court this sand volleyball look at that sand volleyball court too God. this is what hensley's been super excited about is this playground is it weird if i film your process <laughs> is that Top secret stuff, or can I? It's not top secret. So Corey does the filming. We're not in Oregon. <laughs> Corey does the filming, and then they send it all to their editor. So it's Corey. Corey edits all the stuff, yep. so it doesn't take long to send it to the editor. Yep. And then Jess basically watches it, tells him everything that's wrong. Right? There's almost never anything wrong. Yeah. I just check like volume balances for music and make sure that clips go together and there's not like weird ums or noises in between. And then I don't say anything inappropriate. <laughs> exactly. Not that ever. Set of eyes always. You always. Yes. And I check like copy, make sure everything's spelled right. He does the thumbnail and then I upload the thumbnail and do the write up and do all the music like credits. Uh, so you do the visual and she does the I can't like emotional text yeah. or yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I'm not very good at paperwork, and I view this as paperwork. Yeah, this is like the this is the <laughs> admin side of YouTube. Made it to John Pennekamp State Park. Yeah, our site's a little tight. It's a little different, but totally kidding. Not our site. <laughs> Let me get out of the wind. Oh my goodness, windy day, windy day. Uh, good night. Okay. Whew. Messing up my beautiful hair. So yeah, the wind actually was not as bad as I thought it'd be, as far as with the fifth wheel and the with the dually and that's something people said all the time when I was choosing still getting some wind on that microphone aren't we so when picking a truck over and over people dually 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 you won't feel it back there I'm like we'll feel it back there I mean really because I've you know we've had a we had a fifth wheel with a single rear wheel and we of course had the you know the airstream with the van and but they're not kidding like I'm not gonna say I've never felt it back there in like extreme winds but it was pretty windy today I mean you're talking like 25 miles an hour with the gusts 30 maybe even more than that certain times based on what I've seen on the weather and what I was hearing. So now I can feel the fifth when we stop. I can feel the fifth when we go. I can see it on the mileage. But as far as like once you get going with a dually and a fifth wheel, like they're, they're right. I mean, for the most part, you just don't even know what's back there. So even though the wind wasn't an issue, two issues we did run into on the way down here is number one, it was only supposed to take an hour and a half to get here. 
And today our travel day was on a Saturday, which I try not to do, especially in areas we're not familiar with, but like, it is what it is. We took the reservation we could get with where we were at with Sunshine Key. But in doing that, it meant that we were gonna travel on a Saturday and there happened to be, look like some sort of boat show or something. So for 15 miles on each side of that boat show, you've got police like stopping traffic or people to cross and park and do the whole deal added an hour and a half to the route. So instead of an hour and a half, it took us three hours to get here. That was the first issue. And then the second issue is that sometimes you have parks, everybody check out, check in time's all different. So we left at checkout time at our other park. It took us three hours to get here, but we still got here before check-in time, which is 3 p.m. at John Pennecamp. And so they're like, hey, you know, site's not ready. So we had, that's why we're parked where we're at with the, uh, with the boat ramp area. I'm excited about this park though. Oh, I mean, I am too. I've heard sure. awesome things about it and it looks incredible already. So I'm excited. It feels like we're on a boat right now with the wind, actually, with no stabilizers down. <laughs> the third problem is we're still got a gimp knee. <laughs> we're like over a half mile, almost a mile from like where the check-in is. And they're like, oh, we'll just turn around and come back. And then I looked and I was like, we can't make that U-turn. Instead of me having to go out of the park and turn right and kill some time, I was like, is there anywhere we can park? So that's why we're over here in the boat parking area. We're going to kill less than an hour. And then I guess I'm going to ride a bike. If I can get them out of the front bay, I've never tried that hooked up. <laughs> I'm going to ride a bike back, do the official check-in for our site, and then we'll officially check in. So um, what would have ideally been like an hour and a half day leaving our site with no wind, easy travel day, show up, getting our site. It's probably going to be like a five, six hour day by the time we park and ride bikes and fight the wind and boat show and, and the whole deal. But you, you never know. You never know on these travel days. I talked to them. I know I need some drama meeting or something. Well, the neighbors this morning I talked to, they had a class A, but I didn't feel, did you feel it last night at all? Yeah. No, but last night apparently it was like so bad. They said their kids were asking if somebody was like shaking their motor home. So it was, uh, it definitely gets windy in the keys, right? <laughs> I'm telling you when he sees this camera, babe. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what are we going to do with you, huh? Oh, man. So if you want to do the lower part of the Florida Keys, I mean, I guess ideally, if you can get into the state parks, so um, Curry Hammock is kind of that way, but he Honda, I mean, that's, that's the yeah. ticket. Like, it was like you're right next to Sunshine Key where we're at, but I'm mm -hmm. telling you, those two, like, hot, hot, hot ticket state parks, highest demand in the entire nation, I'm sure, um, <laughs> in peak season in the winter. Um, we did get in, this is also a hard one to get into, not as hard as those two, but we got into Pinna Camp, which is a little farther north on the Keys. Uh, but yeah, Sunshine, man, if you can work that out with Encore, or if you just want to pay over the money. <laughs> it's, it turns out it's like less than two years old. It's a really new park. I mean, it's really nice, really well done, really well laid out. Like, super impressed with that park. Yeah, it was, it was definitely gorgeous. There's nothing like seeing this turquoise water like mm -hmm. the color of the water in the keys is something I mean, magical about it it's it's actually did you know this it's my favorite color oh really like green Tur is turquoise? yes like green oh, wow. is my favorite color but that green mixed with that blue like I would have to say like Florida Keys water color is my favorite color it's if you're beautiful. wondering the background of the mm, noise over here on JJ's <laughs> it's a pretty good buddy <laughs> Pretty good stuff. It's definitely one thing he gets from me when something's really good. Mm. He hums, but everything's really good to him. So every time he eats, he just like hums the whole time. He likes his food. He's got, I mean, <laughs> it's so it's cute. Living proof that a sweet tooth is genetic for sure. <laughs> it's cute when he does it, but it's not cute when I do it. <laughs> <laughs> I do need to show both of you humming at some point. Um, you... That's when it's really good. You just gotta hum. As far as my knee. The, the good news is the puppy, it's I've safe. heard the puppy is safe. The puppy is safe. The puppy is safe, that I saved from the shark. So that's kind of the main thing going on. Um, it did still hurt this morning. It is, it's, um, so I rode the bike. I can ride the bike or do things that don't create impact, but it is still hurting. Like if I'm running or walking, it's that impact on the knee, I guess. So, but I'm icing Pretty much anything? <laughs> anything at... Yeah, anything that requires direct impact on it. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think it'll be okay. I think it's just, I don't know if it's a strain or a slight tear or what, but we'll see. I think it'll be okay. 
that is forever going to be. You can go with that story in instead of mind. what. Go with the puppy instead of whatever <laughs> Marissa said earlier. So, um, uh, it was an impressive race. It really was. I was, I was. <laughs> So it was, it was two speeds. I was like, okay, I'm gonna beat her at this speed. And I was like, don't don't speed up or keep going, please. And that, she just wouldn't stop. And so I had to kick it into, I'm gonna hurt my knee mode. Apparently, that was impressive. You know, yeah. It was it was legit. There was like a crowd of people, like not really, but it was probably like in slow motion if I was in the distance <laughs> watching it. But it felt fast to us at least. <laughs> hey, buddy, you enjoying the Florida Keys? Hi. Hi. Yeah, I'm back. He is. I don't know. Oh, he found it. Oh. It was in the cup holder. <laughs> Good to go. <laughs> and as always, if you want additional information, videos, travel maps, live Q and A's, head over to Patreon, lessjuntmorejourney.com slash Patreon to check out additional information. We got even more going on, don't we, bud? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. You got more of me. <laughs> We're gonna wrap things up, head to Publix and get some subs. Right, buddy? Yeah. Get us a bite to eat, call it a night. And we will catch you guys later. Bye. 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 <laughs> bye. I love this. Bye. Bye. He waves to himself. Yeah. Because that's what he bye. sees. <laughs> Say cat. Catch. That's right. Later. Okay. It's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. How's that knee? It's good. It's great. Don't ever race Jesse.